Thanks. There's some talk about robots in retail lately today, so I'd like to bring a different perspective to that. Um, so what's the first image you think about when you think of a robot today? Most of you probably are thinking about a, some, some type of an object like this that's very uh, human-like. Uh, you can interact with it, pre-programmed. Um, very, very common. Um, there might be actually a pepper here. But what about if I asked you if one of these things are a robot, um, a self-driving car, or an airplane on autopilot? The thing is, the definition of a robot is continuing to evolve. And, and um, what we're going to see here is there's just a quick research tells you there's a lot of different definitions. There isn't a standard definition of robot today out there yet. Um, and what I'd like to do is um, you know, kind of explore that from a different paradigm set. And the paradigm goes something like this. It's a robot is something that can, a physical object that can sense. It can sense the world around it. It can think. It can do some cognitive thinking, whether it's pre-programmed or through more recently through artificial intelligence. And it can finally act. So you can take the sensing uh, capability, do some thinking, and influence the world around it. So taking that into, uh, into a store, what can we do with that? Right? Can a store become a robot? So at Acuity Brands, what we're doing, I'm going to talk about that, um, and show you that it fits that paradigm of sense, think, and act. And you guys be the judge if it's a robot or not. So first of all, uh, Acuity Brands is, a, is the largest lighting manufacturer in North America. We're putting BLE beacons in every light fixture in retail as they're updating their uh, light fixtures. And the reason we're doing that is because um, it is able to become a sensory grid for the entire store. So uh, light fixtures are where people are, so we need lights everywhere. And uh, the power that's, that's needed for light fixtures can now be used for BLE beacons also. So this provides a sensory grid with BLE that can connect to all the things in that space like a mobile device, of course, but also a shopping cart retrofitted with a BLE beacon or a uh, associate's tag or a zebra or a bluebird device that a associate might already use, right? So now you have this uh, full canvas of the entire store with BLE beacons, uh, and that becomes your sensory grid to be able to take that information and now go to think. Right? And we're dividing up think in two different ways. The first is in the store, and the one is in the cloud. All of these light fixtures are connected wirelessly. So because they're connected wirelessly, now they can do some processing in between in the store itself with edge, beacon, edge gateways and fog gateways that can send that data about the beacons that they're hearing in the store into the cloud. And then in the cloud, we can pair that data uh, with other, uh, other platforms like a planogram, aggregate that location data with other inventory data or other things that a retailer might need to be able to get better intelligence about what's actually happening in the store. And then finally, that brings us to ACT. There's two types of actions that a store with this capability could do. One is automatic. So you can pre-program it to be able to uh, send alerts. Uh, an alert could be a, uh, a shopping cart or multiple shopping carts piling up around a cashier. Now the uh, store will sense that based on that code that's already been written that there's a threshold that it's meeting. So send an associate a message saying, hey, open up another uh, another lane because this is, this is uh, affecting customer experience in a negative way. So there are multiple alerts that we can be putting out there, um, like a BLE beacon on a Xbox. It's not in the electronics area. This could be a future theft issue, so go check it out. Right? Um, and then a shopper standing in the same spot for a long time and hasn't really uh, moved around. They may need assistance. Send a message to the associate. Go check it out. See if they need help. Right? So these are automatic alerts. And then there's also alerts that could be on demand. So this could be simple as um, you know, a shopper needs to know where an item is. So the store is communicating through the mobile device to the, uh, to the customer saying this is where the object is or the item is, go check. Uh, you can also get a uh, visual foot traffic analysis of the store itself throughout the day. Today, retailers have a lot of data on e-commerce website analytics, but in the store, now with every single space being converted into this digital space, you can get real understanding of, did the intent of the store design meet the foot traffic patterns of the customers in that space also? Right? So there's a lot of on-demand data that can be provided. With BOPUS happening more and more, the associates in the store are going to be pushed to be more efficient in capturing all the, or picking up all the devices in that space. So how do you do that? They need a routing algorithm within the store themselves to be able to pick up those items and deliver to the customer just when they arrive.